sorry, we ran a little late, folks. Uh, thank you for being patient. Madam Clerk? This meeting is being held in accordance with the Open Public Meetings Act, NJSA 10 colon 4 6 at SEC, notice of which was sent to the record and the Star Ledger and was posted on the Municipal Bulletin Board. Roll call, please. Councilmember Battaglia? Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino? Aye. Councilmember Sims? Aye. Councilmember Greenman? Aye. Mayor LaBrosse? Aye. Would everybody please rise for the flag salute? I pledge allegiance to the, to the flag, flag of the United, United States, States of America, America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, nation under God, God indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Oh. May I please have a motion for the approval of the minutes? I'll offer. Offered? Second. Seconded. That's for November 12, 2013, March 3rd, 2014, and March 4th, 2014. Okay, now on November 12, 2013, um, Councilman Battaglia and Councilman Sims, well, Councilman Battaglia was absent for both. So okay. And then um, Councilman so he, Sims just arrived a little bit late, but other than that, it's okay. So Mr. Battaglia would not be in that list then, correct? Right. For the November, just for the November. For the so November you're going to have 12th. to do a motion right. for the November one and then a separate motion for the March. Okay, we have a motion for the November. We had an intro with the Deputy Mayor and a second by Councilman Sims. So we're just up to voting. Okay. This is so for November everybody 12th. can vote except for Councilman Battaglia. Roll call. Councilman Battaglia. Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino. Aye. Councilmember Sims. Aye. Councilmember Greenman. Aye. And Mayor LaBrosse. Aye. March 3rd. We're good. March 3rd, everybody was present, and so March 4th also. Okay. Moving on to the city manager's need, report. Oh, hey, I need a motion to approve those. Need a, <laughs> I'm sorry. Need a motion? Offered. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Battaglia? Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino? Aye. Councilmember Sims? Aye. Councilmember Greenman? Aye. Mayor LaBrosse? Aye. Okay. We're good. Mm -hmm. City Manager's report, please. Thank you, Mayor. I'd like to start out by giving some good, good information and uh, congratulating Upper Main Street Alliance, DMR, Architects, Archer, Griner, and the city of Hackensack. Uh, it's, it's nice to know that some of the hard work has been done has been appreciated. Uh, the New Jersey Future is pleased to present the 2014 Smart, Smart Growth winners. Uh, and Hackensack won for the Downtown Rehabilitation Plan, Design and Regulations and Flexible Zoning to Foster Revitalize, revitalize Downtown. And they named Archer Ground DMR, city of Hackensack and Upper Main Street Alliance. So it's an award that Hackensack was a runner-up last year. And uh, through a lot of hard work and everybody's participation, I'm proud to announce that we won this year. So good job to all. That's great. That's the first I knew that we got it for sure. I knew we were in the running, yeah, but we, we uh, got that's it. exciting news. Uh, we found that, I found out I was told I couldn't say anything until right now, so right. here we are. So. And that also, uh, to, for the public's knowledge, New Jersey Biz Magazine uh, Pick two cities in the state of New Jersey as the best places for redevelopment right now, and Hackensack was one of those two. It was Hackensack and Bayonne. So that's another big kudo for us. Uh, shows at Main Street and Hackensack is we're going in the right direction with all this redevelopment uh, and the rehabilitation plan. And uh, credit to everybody on that. That's that's great news. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, next on the on the list is uh, tonight. The county executive came down. Uh, to the firehouse, and we were proud enough and happy enough to donate a fire engine to the county uh, that's going to be used to train new firemen. And the county executive said literally thousands of people will be trained on this machine. It was a 1984 uh, that's been sitting in storage. Uh, the city had tried to sell for a while and then decided to put it to better use and help save lives. So thank you to all for that. The county really appreciated it. And the county executive here is taking pictures. Uh, there's going to be an Easter egg hunt at Stive Park on the 15th at 4 p.m. So please come down with your kids, grandkids, family members, and have a good time. Uh, also, we met with um, previous Mayor Wysocki's family uh, several months ago. They had sent a letter out with concerns about flooding, uh, the pavers. They had a question about pavers and uh, uh, pavement, asphalt caving in. 
And I met with them, and I told them I'd look into it, give me a little time, and we bounced different ideas off each other. And we're just about done, but we, there's a 24-inch pipe that runs down by Waisaki Place, by Hudson and Kennedy. Uh, we had a company go over there and clean out. While they were cleaning out the 24-inch pipe, which was 50% to two-thirds blocked, uh, hasn't been done in over 10 years, that we could best that we could find out. We discovered a 40-inch pipe coming down Kennedy that was two-thirds packed uh, with silt uh, that we had actually stopped the other day. Uh, they pulled 60 tons out. Wow. So if you recall, uh, whenever it rained, uh, there would be severe flooding there. You know, we'd have to get the uh, police to put the barricades up. They're always awake and everything else. So I talked to Mr. Waisaki the other day. Uh, there was some puddling on the one corner, but we're not done yet. We still have to go down. We probably have three days' worth of work left. But hopefully that will alleviate uh, some of and give some relief to the, the, the neighbors and the, the homeowners and business owners in that area. So that, that, that's a very positive note because for years there was frustration there. And I spoke to Mr. Waisaki several times in the last two weeks, and uh, he was elated with the response from, mm -hmm. from, the, from the city. And the fact that we found that 40-inch pipe, I think it was, it was huge. Um, so I'm curious, I'm not praying for rain, believe me, but I'm curious to see how this goes. Uh, today the new pothole company started with the city that we contracted for. We can hot patch now since the plant is open. Uh, the number, the hotline for that is 201-646-8058. I know I keep giving it out, but I encourage people to call, especially now since the, um, uh, the plant is open and we can use hot patch. It'll be much better and hopefully last. There's a lot of problem areas, I know it, so I appreciate your patience, but we're doing the best we can. We have our crew out, plus another company we contracted with. Uh, on the redevelopment note, I'm happy to say that Heritage Capital posted the escrow for 210 Main Street. Uh, in your packets tonight, you'll see a resolution asking that we move forward uh, with the redevelopment study for 210 and 214 Main Street, which I'm excited about. Uh, worked long and hard toward that one. That's been hanging out there for quite a while. Uh, Working with the city over the last several months, uh, and with uh, Mr. Flanagan, uh, there was an EPA grant that's been hanging in limbo for years, not knowing really where to go. We met with the EPA. Uh, it's a $291,000 grant that has been reestablished with the city. It's a 55-45 split, but we could use that money toward new drainage, uh, anything to help with sanitary sewer lines. Uh, water outfalls, they were very flat. They want to see us spend that money. And uh, they actually came here and sat with us last week and gave us some parameters. And they were, they were, they were flexible. And we, you know, we're looking at some problem areas that we had previously discussed below at South Newman uh, that this could possibly be used towards. So uh, I, I think it's great. And uh, you know, I want to thank everybody for the help with that, too, because that was um, uh, you know, Boswell Engineering and John Flanagan, everyone pitched in, and, and the EPA really stepped up. And I appreciate their help with that. Uh, the recycling revenue that we have, uh, excuse me, that we have for December actually, uh, we did not get February or March's in yet, so I apologize for the typo on your paperwork. But I talked about it uh, right after I started in this position and we had a new contract and it had gone up significant, significantly. And if you see November 2012 to November 2013, it went from $4,600 to $8,700. Um, in for an 85 percent, I'm sorry, an 86 percent increase. In December, it went from 4,200 to 9,900 dollars, 9,991.09, 100, 137.6% increase. So it's showing the new contract is working. For whatever reason, December, I'm sorry, January to January was a little tighter. We still had a 16 percent increase, but it's heading in the right direction. And I think it's, uh, you know, we're not talking about a few hundred dollars here. It's adding up to be thousands and thousands of dollars uh, that we're getting in that we can definitely use. Uh, and the last thing on, on our my past report is I'm happy and proud to say that we just got six new Dodge Chargers in. Uh, we were able to, well, I did ask for six cars back and got three back because three had been totaled or involved in other accidents or were beyond repair. And, you know, we're, we have a police fleet that, that is older. Some years no cars were replaced at all. Uh, we, have, we took cars off the road with 128,000 miles and put the police officers in new cars. So I want to wish them luck with them and uh, thank them for their help because, you know, it was a trial getting them here. But that worked out well, too. 
Uh, with the CFO and I, we were able to renegotiate uh, through Ford Credit. We actually went up with our city's bank, TD Bank, uh, and got the interest rate lowered on a lease to 2.5%, and we saved $4,800 in interest charges over the three-year term of the lease. So, like I said, every little bit helps, so I want to thank him for his help with that, and good luck with the cars, guys. That's it, Mary. Very good. Thank you, Mr. Rotino. Okay. Madam Clerk, can you move on with 134-14, uh, please? Okay, this is um, a resolution for the introduction of ordinance number 15-2014, a bond ordinance providing for Atlantic Street Park improvements by and in the city of Hackensack in the county of Bergen, state of New Jersey, appropriating 650000 Therefore, and authorizing the issuance of $617,500 in bonds or notes of the city to finance part of the cost thereof. May I have a motion, please? Author. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Battaglia. Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino. Aye. Councilmember Sims. Aye. Councilmember Greenman. Aye. Mayor LaBrosse. Aye. Be it resolved that the above ordinance, being Ordinance 15-2014, as introduced, does now pass on first reading, and that said ordinance shall be considered for final passage at a meeting to be held on April 22, 2014, at 8 o'clock p.m., or as soon thereafter as the matter can be reached at the regular meeting place of the City Council, and at such time and place all persons interested be given an opportunity to be heard concerning said ordinance, and that the said I'm sorry, and that the city clerk B and she is hereby authorized and directed to publish said ordinance according to law with a notice of its introduction and passage on first reading and of the time and place when and where said ordinance will be further considered for final passage. Okay, thank you. Resolution 135-14. This is an introduction of ordinance number 16-2014 a bond ordinance providing for various road improvements by and in the city of Hackensack in the county of Bergen, state of New Jersey, appropriating $800,000 therefore and authorizing the issuance of 760,000 bonds or notes of the city to finance part of the cost thereof. Okay, may I have a motion please? Offer. Second. Roll call. Council Member Battaglia. Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino. Aye. Council Member Sims. Aye. Council Member Greenman. Aye. Mayor LaBrosse. Aye. Be it resolved that the above ordinance being Ordinance 16-2014 as introduced does now pass on first reading and that said ordinance shall be considered for final passage at a meeting to be held on April 22, 2014 at 8 o'clock p.m. or as soon thereafter as the matter can be reached at the regular meeting place of the City Council and at such time and place all persons interested be given an opportunity to be heard concerning said ordinance and that the City Clerk be and she is hereby authorized and directed to publish said ordinance according to law with a notice of its introduction and passage on first reading and of the time and place when and where said ordinance will be further considered for final passage. Thank you. Resolution 136-14. This again is another introduction of ordinance number 17-2014, a capital ordinance of the city of Hackensack in the county of Bergen, New Jersey, authorizing an ordinance for the improvement of Pulaski Park and appropriating $110,000 and providing that such sum so appropriated shall be raised from the General Capital Improvement Fund of the City of Hackensack. I have a motion, please. All for it. Second. Roll call. Council Member Battaglia. Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino. Aye. Council Member Sims. Aye. Council Member Greenman. Aye. Mayor LaBrosse. Aye. Be it resolved that the above ordinance being Ordinance 17-2014 as introduced does now pass on first reading and that said ordinance shall be considered for final passage at a meeting to be held on April 22, 2014, at 8 o'clock p.m. or as soon thereafter as the matter can be reached, at the regular meeting place of the City Council, and at such time and place, all persons interested be given an opportunity to be heard concerning said ordinance, and that the City Clerk be and she is hereby authorized and directed to publish said ordinance according to law with a notice of its introduction and passage on first reading, and of the time and place when and where said ordinance will be further considered for final passage. Thank you. Resolution 137-14. This is a resolution to rescind resolution number 34-14, canceling of small balances. A motion, please. Offer. Second. Roll call, please. Council Member Battaglia. Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino. Aye. Council Member Sims. Aye. Council Member Greenman. Aye. Mayor LaBrosse. Aye. Moving on to 138-14. 
It's a resolution authorizing the cancellation of small balances. I have a motion for that, please. Offered. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Battaglia. Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino. Aye. Councilmember Sims. Aye. Councilmember Greenman. Aye. Mayor LaBrosse. Aye. Resolution 139-14. The resolution authorizing the purchase of asphalt hot patcher through the Minnesota Service Natural National Cooperative. May I have a motion, please? Offered. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Battaglia. Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino. Aye. Councilmember Sims. Aye. Councilmember Greenman. Aye. Mayor LaBrosse. Aye. Resolution 140-14. This is a resolution authorizing the purchase of the ladder fire truck using New Jersey state contract. May I have a motion on this, please? Offer. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Battaglia. Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino. Aye. Councilmember Sims. Aye. Councilmember Greenman. Aye. Mayor LaBrosse. Aye. Okay, resolution 141-14. This is a resolution appointing the municipal housing liaison. May I have a motion, please? Offered. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Battaglia. Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino. Aye. Councilmember Sims. Aye. Councilmember Greenman. Aye. Mayor LaBrosse. Aye. Resolution 142-14. This is a resolution authorizing a refund for a double fee charge on a building permit. Motion, please. Offered. Second. Roll call. Council Member Battaglia. Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino. Aye. Council Member Sims. Aye. Council Member Greenman. Aye. Mayor LaBrosse. Aye. Resolution 143-14. This is a resolution authorizing tax refunds. Motion, please. Offer. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Battaglia. Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino. Aye. Councilmember Sims. Aye. Councilmember Greenman. Aye. Mayor LaBrosse. Aye. Resolution 144-14. It is a resolution to amend Resolution 120-14 authorizing execution of contract with Bergen County for Open Space Trust Fund Project Cultural Arts Center Open Air Venue Endeavor slash Atlantic Street Public Park. I have a motion, please. Offer. Need a second? Second. Roll call. Councilmember Battaglia? Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino? Aye. Councilmember Sims? Aye. Councilmember Greenman? Aye. Mayor LaBrosse? Aye. If I may interject on this, this uh, $268,000, um, it's an open space uh, grant that will be coming off that first resolution we passed of $650,000, correct? Yes. Yes, all right, just for the public's knowledge. Thank you. Resolution 145-14. It's a resolution of authorizing raffle license for Memorial School PTA for Paramus. I have a motion, please. Offered. Second. Roll call. Council Member Battaglia. Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino. Aye. Councilmember Sims? Aye. Councilmember Greenman? Aye. Mayor LaBrosse? Aye. Resolution number 146-14. Authorizing a person-to-person -person liquor license transfer from Green Grill to Wendy Coba. Member motion, please. Offered. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Battaglia? Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino? Aye. Councilmember Sims? Aye. Councilmember Greenman? Aye. Mayor LaBrosse? Aye. Resolution 147-14. Resolution designating Art Costa as recycling coordinator and authorizing submission of recycling tonnage grant application. Motion, please. Offer. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Battaglia. Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino. Aye. Councilmember Sims. Aye. Councilmember Greenman. Aye. Mayor LaBrosse. Aye. On to resolution number 148-14. This is a resolution authorizing the city of Hackensack to enter in a cooperative pricing agreement. May I have a motion, please? Offer. Second. Roll call. Council Member Battaglia? Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino? Aye. Council Member Sims? Aye. Council Member Greenman? Aye. Mayor LaBrosse? Aye. Resolution 149-14. 
The resolution authorizing the budget and tax resolution hearing to be rescheduled to Tuesday, May 6, 2014. At 7 o'clock. May I have a motion for that, please? Offered. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Pataglia? Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino? Aye. Councilmember Sims? Aye. Councilmember Greenman? Aye. Mayor LaBrosse? Aye. Resolution 150 14. It's an emergency temporary appropriation prior to the adoption of the budget per NJSA 40A colon 4 20. May I have a motion, please? Second. Roll call. Councilmember Battaglia? Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino? Aye. Councilmember Sims? Aye. Councilmember Greenman? Aye. Mayor LaBrosse? Aye. Resolution 151 14. Is a resolution awarding bid to Fine Wall Corp for the EOC renovations and alterations? I have a motion, please. Offer. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Pataglia? Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino? Aye. Councilmember Sims? Aye. Councilmember Greenman? Aye. Mayor LaBrosse? Aye. Okay. Resolution 152 14 for the payment of bills. Be it resolved by the City Council of the City of Hackensack that the bills in the following accounts be and are hereby ordered paid. Um, current fund is $8,297,323.05. Total expenditures are $11,729,099.90. And inter funds and transfers are $222,474.02. Made a motion. Have a motion, please. Offer. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Battaglia? Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino? Aye. Councilmember Sims? Aye. Councilmember Greenman? Aye. Mayor LaBrosse? Aye. And last resolution 153 14. Is a resolution authorizing and directing the Planning Board to undertake an investigation to determine whether Block 311, Lots 14 and 16, which is 210, 214 Main Street, and Block 309, Lot 2, which is 210 Moore Street, satisfies the criteria for designation as an area in need of redevelopment. I have a motion, please. Offer. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Pataglia? Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino? Aye. Councilmember Sims? Aye. Councilmember Greenman? Aye. Mayor LaBrosse? Aye. Okay, that's it for resolutions. At this time, I'd like a motion to open a meeting to the public. Offered. Offered. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, if anybody would like to speak at the public session, please come up to the podium. Give your name and address to the clerk. You have five minutes. Thank you. Blanche Stewart, 252 3rd Street, Hackensack. Um, during the city manager's comments regarding the pipes, the, the Wysocki family discussed that you had cleared. Um, are we going to take into consideration the years and years of flooding in the uh, James, Berdam, Barry, um, all of those streets are, have been flooding for years, Stanley, and is it possible to go see why, if you can clean out the pipes there or whatever, but people have lost a lot of their property, have continually had to replace things that they've lost for years and years and years, but it fell on deaf ears. So hopefully you can do the same for those families who own those properties, um, including me, because it flows down from Prospect Avenue to my property on 3rd Street. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Stewart. Anybody else would like to speak at the public session? Hi, Kathleen Sava, Hudson Street. Um, thank everybody for the second collection of garbage that uh, was instituted a couple of weeks ago. I was off to a slow start because the stickers weren't um, in on time, which was no big deal because the main thing is that you're doing it twice a week and we waited, what, 14 years for this to happen again. And we're happy about it. Um, people think because I talk about this that it's because I want it for my personal use. I only have two garbage cans. 
six months out of the year, they don't even collect it. I am speaking for my neighborhood. I am speaking for the block watch that I'm, I'm part of in our neighborhood, and I'm speaking for all the the families who have multi um, multi family uh, you know locations, and that garbage collection is so important. The other thing that has to be addressed is that these garbage cans during the winter we allowed them to be kept in the front of the property for convenience uh, purposes because it's really hard to navigate it through the snow. They don't have snow tires on them, so we tend to leave them in front of the house. Now that the weather has gotten better, we should not be able to, we should not see these cans except on the day that which they are collected. A lot of people got very careless in leaving them for convenience purposes uh, in front of their locations, and it shouldn't be. The other thing that has happened, a lot of the fences, if you leave, your, if you leave the cans in front of your property, you're supposed to have it fenced in either by a fence that you can't see through or vegetation, and that's not happening. A lot of the fences broke during the, during the course of the last to eight years, and nobody's told them that they should replace them if they do want to keep them in front. There's one on Lodi Street, there's one on East Broadway. There's a few of them that should be replaced. The same thing holds true with the dumpster. Anytime an application comes in front of any of the boards, any commercial property that in, is in need of a dumpster needs to have the dumpster screened properly. And that was one of Mr. Ponasek's concerns. There's the apartment house there that the dumpster is visible from the street, and we shouldn't see that. Any, any other town that you ride through, you never see any garbage pails or dumpsters visible. They're either rolled in the back of the yard or they're covered by the proper screening. So thanks again for the twice a week, but I think we should get on board and um, try to hide these big blue garbage cans and put them where they're out of view. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else who would like to? Mr. Dibb, how are you? Uh, wearing my Upper Main Alliance hats, and I, I just wanted to thank you and, and Mr. Rotino for the, all the work that was done um, in preparation of the NJ Futures uh, Award. That's magnificent news. I think it, it's, um, it's, it really is a, a, a boost. Um, that gala that they have to, to celebrate that is June 5th, which, ha which happens to be the night that we finally set on for our business expo, which, well, is, which I'm, we're happy to change under, under the circumstances. But I just wanted to come up and say thank you. And just a, a quick note um, with respect to um, uh, cameras. Um, I know that uh, Mrs. Salvo has been uh, very instrumental in trying to get surveillance cameras installed in certain portions of the city. And, um, I, I, I continue to work on that. I had a conversation with Mrs. Salvo before this meeting, and um, we'll keep her and other members of the community involved in that process as I go forward, as, as in addition to the city manager as well, obviously. But okay. that's, that's in progress and continuing. But again, thank you so much for the work that was done on the, uh, the uh, NJ Futures Award. Thank, thank you, Robert. Appreciate it. Yes, ma'am. Hi, it's Ruth Metzler, 463 Washington Avenue. Now, it's an old song, but maybe new ears will listen to me. There's a block between Washington Avenue and Hudson Street, Moonaki Road. Is this much is what we're expected to walk on between a fence and the road. And it's, the more children are being you know, are in the neighborhood, they're coming that way to school. Someone is going to get killed. And I'm hoping it's not me. But the cars come up Moonaki Road from River Street. They're coming up a hill and they have to make a slight bend there. They're right next to what maybe was a curb at one time. And this is where we're expected to walk mothers with strollers, toddlers, whatever. You can't even jump out of the way because you can't get over the fence. Can something please be done about it? I keep hearing about, oh, it's a grandfathered in because the properties in that section don't really have property lines, I guess, or something. They've been that way for so long. But something really has to be done. I mean, I joke about it, but it isn't funny. I could look over with our property. Um, I mean, sorry, if someone I, I, would come and if one of you, any of you, just take a walk there. Actually, and I was see on, I was on how close today, those. So. I, I mean, I've been brushed by cars 
it's it's not a I don't know how how wide is the sidewalk supposed to be? An area to be safe from cars. I could go over with John finding our project manager and take a look at it and see if there's anything we could do to address it. I hope so before I, someone is really seriously hurt. If I may, how long is this continuous? Like a block or half? You know, it's only a block. One block. It's a disaster, actually. It's one property length, and then there's a, a station, a garage or something on Hudson and Moonaki that there's really no sidewalk designated Mr. Rutino, at all. Let Mr. Rutino visit it with, the the, with our architect. But, I mean... Right. With our planner. That's a busy street. I yeah, I know. It's very busy street. I'll take a look at it. Okay, right. promise. No, I will take a look at okay. it. Okay. Defend and save you. Good. Mr. Williams. Good afternoon, Mr. Council, Mr. Retina. Good evening. I'd just like to ask a question, Mr. Mayor and the Council. Yes. Uh, it seems like to me, Patterson, I mean, Hackensack has become like Patterson. There are so many commercial businesses right now in the res residential area, and the summertime coming up here. And a lot of these cars, a lot of these places don't have parking, especially on James Street and Railroad Avenue. At one time, they made Railroad Avenue no parking. But I came to a council meeting, and I told them about it, and they rescinded that because they didn't want the trucks going on Main Street because of the sewer system. But everywhere you look around here, if you look out the door, you see a truck out there, uh, John's Carpet Service, or... Uh, U.S. mail. I've complained several times, and I've filed complaints. It never get looked at. They say, oh, we'll get some. And even right now, in one of the areas here, there's big tractors are back in the neighborhood at night making all kind of noise. And people get on me saying, why are you complaining? Because I thought when I came from New York, I'd be out of New York. But I might as well be there back in New York with the subways. So I'm just asking, is it residential? Or is it commercial? Everybody is running a business from their house. I appreciate you looking into it. I've made complaints. I got them listed in my phone. Now you're Definitely talking about on James Street and Railroad Avenue, correct? Excuse me? You're talking at James Street and Railroad Avenue? No, I'm just talking about the Hackensack period. It's well, there's, I mean, there's so many different zones, Mr. Williams. I, I need. Well, the zone, to... when I make a complaint, I check with the zones. Right. So you take Berry Street, you take uh, First Street across from the. Uh, Senior citizen place. Uh, you take um, Union Street. You take the others. A lot of the streets has mixed use. I know about them. I check them before I make a complaint. But they say to me, "Oh, I mm -hmm. went through this." Before I make a complaint, I always check. It's just basically all over Hackensack, and any on the west side of the track, and some just late late at night. Well, it gotten a little better with the buses, but that's still a little. It's ridiculous. Well, if you if you come across a particular property that's not commercial or, or manufacturing, and you see an issue, bring it to it. Mr. Rotino's attention, and, and we, we will look into it. All right, I haven't talked to Mr. Rotino, but I've talked to Mr. Burrell. Right. And it's just, I just talk, give him getting the cold shoulder. Talk to Mr. Rotino. Okay. Thank okay. you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Rotino. You're welcome. Nobody else? Seeing none, may I have a motion to close to the public, please? Offer. Second. All in favor? Uh, Aye. Aye. At this time, we find it necessary to go back into closed session for a short amount of time, so if you could read that for me, please, clerk. Where is the mayor and council of the city of Hackensack deem it necessary to discuss certain actions under section 7B7 and 7B8 of the Open Public Meetings Act, which pertains to matters falling within attorney-client privilege, Ongoing litigation and personnel matters concerning the employment of a current or, current or prospective public employee. Whereas the mayor and council of the city of Hackensack is of the opinion that such circumstances may presently exist. And whereas the township council wishes to discuss the following issues. Personnel matters, ongoing litigation, matters involving attorney-client privilege. Now therefore be it resolved that the mayor and council of the city of Hackensack deem it necessary to exclude the public from this discussion. The outcome of the discussion will be disclosed within 90 days or at such time as the interests of the city do not require confidentiality. Need a motion. Um, 
Mr. Scribo, you want to? Uh, yes, for the public's benefit, this is a personnel matter only that will be discussed. Okay, thank you. Uh, may I have a motion, please? Offered. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Battaglia? Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino? Aye. Councilmember Sims? Aye. Councilmember Greenman? Aye. Mayor LaBrosse? Aye. <coughs> thank you, everybody. Thank uh, you. Real quick, before we go into closed session, uh, a comment from the council. Sorry. Well, first of all, thank you for coming again. You know, we're really happy to see see you guys when we got these city council meetings. We are working to take care of all the problems that we got, like the potholes, traffic, you know, all the problems that we got. We need more days and money to take care of the problem. But uh, be patient with all we're going to do, it, okay? Thank you. Um, I'd like to just, I, again, offer congratulations to the whole team on this SMART Award for... Um, from New Jersey future. I mean, this is a really wonderful accomplishment for the city and really puts us in a great place with uh, what we're calling the rebirth of the renaissance of Hackensack. Um, our planner, uh, Fran Reiner, did an outstanding job. Um, he continues to update the plan, keeping everything current. Um, the, the mayor, myself, and our city manager took place in a rather lengthy interview process. and. Um, you know, the, it was obvious that the interviewer was in, impressed with the things that have been going on in town, the changes that have been going on just in, in the last six or seven months. I mean, the, the activity, um, the new ordinances that have been put in place, um, all of these things, I think, were, were a credible reason why we, we received a well-deserved award, and, and, and it's really quite an accomplishment for us. And the other great thing tonight on tonight's agendas was, you know, the, the moving forward with the development of 210 and 214 Main Street. I mean, that's always been a focal point of our downtown, um, a beautiful, beautiful building, and, you know, the plans are to maintain its architectural integrity, which I think is phenomenal because, you know, many of us uh, remember that building, uh, you know, when it was really, really in the glory days, and it's still, still a lovely, lovely building. So we look forward to adding that to our many lists of accomplishments here in the city, and I think all the residents should be pleased with, uh, with seeing the development take place there. Have a nice evening, everyone. Okay. I want to thank everybody for coming out. Hopefully we have some warm weather coming. This Saturday is opening day for baseball. We want all to come out and cheer on the kids. The first pitch will be thrown out by John to me at 11 o'clock, so hopefully we'll see you all there. Thank you. Are you being practicing? <laughs> we, better, we better practice. <laughs> Just scream it. Okay. Um, I want to thank everyone for coming. I want to reassure everyone that we are concerned with this matter of polyfly towing. Um, I want to reassure everyone that this, there is a good faith effort that's being made to locate competent uh, legal paperwork. I want to stress that 12 years of silence is too long, way too long. I think that it's a shame that the city was deprived, deprived, and this is a poor city, was deprived of 12 years of income. Um, it's going to incur even more expenses now in evicting and remediating the area if it's not going to be remediated by polyfly towing. Um, I want to um, bring this, all of this, to the, at the feet of the previous administration and see why and understand why it was not not followed through and who taught $900 a year was a sufficient sum to cover to use the, to, to, to have $900 cover the rent for for 12 months and then stop some, some 12, 12 years ago. Um, why this was allowed to continue for 12 years without anyone coming to uh, their, uh, you know, just thinking that, that somebody should, should go and look at it or 
look for something and uh, see why the property is not being, uh, the, we're not being compensated for it and why the property is being used free and no one is paying us for, um, for the use of the property and the city in the meantime was paying the property owners for towing the cars. Um, it's just amazing. There are a lot of questions. I want to reassure everyone that we're looking, we're searching for answers and we will search for answers as soon as answers are available you will be you will be in the now as soon as we're in the now you'll be in the now and uh, that's about it just uh, extremely upsetting um i want to thank everyone again for coming i appreciate your um civic interest and and this rainy day and uh, thank you again. Thank you, Ms. Greenman. Um, I'm also very pleased with, with this New Jersey Futures Award. Uh, that was a surprise. I knew, like I said, I knew we're in the running, but getting it is, uh, is big. That along with the New Jersey biz, uh, you know, <clears throat> what, what they gave us, it, it's just huge. Um, the twice a week garbage pickup so happy that happened. Originally, we were going to do, do it just from May to September, but we're able to do it year-round. I think, uh, you know, there were some people questioning it in the beginning, but uh, you know what? I've got nothing but positive feedback from it, uh, and it'll be even better in the summer when, it, when the hot weather hits and that garbage starts to, uh, you know, stink to high heaven. So um, I think that's a great move for us. Um, I agree with Mrs. Salvo that the cans need to be put back because I've seen that uh, through the winter myself where they're not put back on the side of the house or the back of the house and they're, they're visible year round. Um, what else? Baseball. Baseball Hackensack. I look forward to throwing out the first pitch to Councilman uh, Sims on, on Saturday morning at 11 o'clock. If you get a chance, come on down to the field like he said. It'll be a lot of fun. It's great to see the little kids from six years old, five years old, all the way up to the teen, teen years, uh, standing there on opening day. Um, usually, if two, three, four hundred kids, and uh, it's a great feeling to be part of that. Um, just have your glove ready, get the arm ready. So, <laughs> and with that, we'll close. Thank you, everybody. Have a good night. I'll probably throw my shoulder out. I'll, I'll text on my way out.